All right guys, well, we're gonna be building a compost tea air lifter today. We're gonna try to up our game with uh, compost teas. I'll be honest with you, I normally don't make a lot of teas just because I forget to make them or I just don't uh, don't have the time or I, I, I make them and I forget about them. I wanna make a new little toy to play with and uh, hopefully this will make my tea, compost teas a little more effective. Here is a little overview of the stuff that we are gonna need for this air lifter, at least for the one that I'm doing. You can use different size and different dimensions for what works best for you. But from what I found online, I'm pretty much following it to a T, except for they recommended or they were showing an inch and a half. I ended up just going with an inch. But here are the tools that we're gonna need. I've got a tape measure for when we're cutting our tube to length, marker, and our pipe cutter. You don't necessarily need this pipe cutter, but this definitely does make cutting this PVC a lot easier. You could use, say, a saw or anything. Uh, it's not gonna come out as clean. I had this tool, so it's not a big deal. But again, if you don't have it, uh, it's not a big deal. So it's just this cool little ratchet, and it works really, really well. You get nice, clean cuts. So we've got that. Of course, we have our pump. Uh, this pump is a 35-watt pump that we're gonna be using. I've got our hose. Now this particular hose, I had this. This piece was came with this, so I don't, know off the top of my head exactly what size that is, but I was following the directions of what they said to get for our tube size. That's what we ended up going with. Found out that this was just slightly too large to fit on there. I kind of uh, put some water on there and I was able to actually push this inside and that worked perfectly. So now that short little tube is our little adapter for it and that'll just go right on there and we're good to go. So we've got our PVC pipe. This is two feet in length. And again, this is a one inch pipe. That's what we'll be going with today. We've got our uh, one inch elbows. We've got two of those. We've got our one inch tees, one inch by half PVC bushing. Uh, and this is gonna allow us to put our threaded line, uh, our little adapter, the hose barb. I don't know what kind of funky name they're giving it, but this is gonna allow us to thread this on there and then that's where our air tube is going to go. We've got a couple of these little uh, couplings. So once we get the hose on there, we can cinch that down. Other than that, that's pretty much all we're gonna need for this little project. So our first thing that we're gonna be doing here is we need to cut these down into our pieces that we need. Uh, the first cut that we're gonna be doing is two and three quarters. So we're gonna end up doing two of these. So let's mark that. We'll mark that first one. We're taking our pipe cutter. Boom. All right, so we've got one. And we're not gonna be using any glue or any of, the, any of that kind of stuff. We're just gonna be pushing everything together and it will hold just fine. All right, our next thing we're gonna be doing, next cut is gonna be 13 and a half. Looks like we'll have a little bit left over. Just like that. See how easy that is? We get these nice clean cuts. If we did it with a saw, it may be a little bit more jagged and you may not get it completely straight. If you uh, are going to be doing more stuff, I think this, I wanna say this is like 10 bucks or maybe, you know, maybe 20 at most. They have different varieties depending on what manufacturer you get. Uh, this is just a regular old cheap one. So uh, I think that was fairly reasonable in price. All right, we've got all our parts laid out. Now it's time to assemble it. We're gonna take one of the T's one of the short pieces, get it together. We're gonna push this one just like that. We're gonna take our bushing with our hose adapter, push that on there. Now we've got our base, all right? Now we're going to put the upright piece just like that. Then 
Take one of our elbows, pushing that on, taking another small piece, putting that just like that, and boom. That is an airlifter. From here, we could take our hose, putting it on there, and then it goes to the pump. We're taking these little clips and popping them on there. Not a bad little project. We're gonna go ahead and get these all on there. We're going to pull a bucket over here and uh, we'll give it a whirl and see how well it works. All right, let's get this piece on. We'll put the one of these little doohickeys on. Putting it onto our tubing first. Sliding that on all the way. I will be interested to see if we end up having any issues uh, since this is going to be underwater. Uh, I don't know if this metal piece will become a problem. I know some people may be against putting, uh, especially a, a piece of metal like this, underwater. You have that chance for it to um, rust on you or if there's any type of reaction with anything getting into the water. I, that I don't know. But I'd be interested to see how long these last while being underwater. Now, of course, it's not for long. What I've done teasing from what I've seen people do is 24 hours is usually enough. And it's not like I'm doing this all the time. But this is the basic airlifter. Since we've got this piece right here, just so I don't feel like I'm wasting anything. Maybe let's try it. Let's cut this in half. We're gonna we're gonna do it our own style, our own way. Add our little touch to it. I just kind of eyeballed that. We're going to give it a little bit more leg, so it's not quite as uh, flippy. So there it is. We have our own air lifter. This is all one inch piping. Let's get it into the water. I did also uh, bring this. They did recommend some way of keeping it down underwater. So we've got a bungee cord. Let's give this a try. All right, here we are. We've got our bucket. We're going to take our little air lifter. We're gonna bring this in there. And let's figure out how we're gonna do this. Still got a little bit of slack on there. We'll wrap her around a little bit. Still needs a little mo. There we go. Now let's secure it. it. It may move just a little bit, but I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. Moment of truth. We're gonna plug her in. Hey. We are working. Check that out. Well, that's it y'all. We were able to build our uh, first airlifter. This is the first one I've ever made. Like I said, I've always used some air stone in some kind of way. This little dinky thing with this little uh, dinky pump was what I had, it's what I used. Definitely did not work wonderfully, uh, but I think I like this. I think this will work well. We're gonna give it a try and see what we see what we can do. I know that they say that these are definitely more effective when you're making compost t-shirts. It's got some MPQ, MPK value, um, but what you're doing is you're multiplying all those microbes and all that good stuff that you're trying to uh, put out in your garden, right? You've got different stuff that you add in for different things. So this is uh, a little bit more delicate on the uh, the stuff that's inside the water. So it's just kind of, uh, it's not churning it up. It's not, uh, you know, for say using something like a fish pump, right? I, I have used this, it didn't work great, but uh, they say that you gotta be careful because it's uh, it can be a little bit harder on the stuff inside the water. So I think this was a successful project. Uh, I'd have to do some numbers, but I would say everything that we got, including the pump, all of the stuff, I'll even include the tools in there. Uh, I would say we're probably at about 50 bucks and you could definitely save some with uh, reusing some stuff around the house or whatever you got. So overall, not a bad project. I think it was pretty easy, definitely fun. I'm excited to make my first tea with it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you later.